the Black Legion, Death to the False Emperor. The Black Legion exemplifies the threat posed by Chaos Legions. Abaddon's impassioned fervor has fanned the fires of resentment into an inferno and the Legion has thrived under millennia of his inspired leadership. From this gigantic dust nebulae at the edge of the Eye of Terror, this traitor elite orchestrates the downfall of mankind. Black Legion. Black Legion. Coaster Boys of Chaos. What a play as it's war boss tear up in his mud. Welcome to the 16th Legion. Part 1 painting tutorial how to paint a Chaos Space Marine in Black Legion colors. Now, they are known as the Black Legion, but they weren't always known that. They used to be called the Sons of Horus. Before that, they were called the Luna Wolves. But they are the Chaos Space Marine that you typically think of when, uh, or if you are a new player to the hobby, when you think of evil bad Space Marines, because most of the Games Workshop Chaos Space Marines used to be painted like this in these colors. They are the main go-to bad guys. And uh, I'm gonna show you today how to paint one up. So, what you're going to need are the following paints. It would be great if you use uh, Abaddon Black or uh, get a black primer. If you don't have a black primer, then I use a gray primer, then Abaddon Black, Mephiston Red, Rackhearth Flesh, Gehenna's Gold, Warp Fiend Gray, Corn Red, Lead Belcher, Seraphim Sepia. Actually, did I use Seraphim Sepia in this? Ah, it's all running together in my head. I didn't even use you, Cowbird Crimson. Get out of here. Uh, the washes that I used were Agrax Earthshade. And Rakeland Flesh Shade. There we go. I also used Dawnstone to highlight the black. And Balthazar Gold as the base for our gold. So these guys are very easy to paint up if you're a beginning painter. Especially if you have a black primer, just spray it black and pick out the details. But we're going to try to make him look a little bit special and try to do some detail work on him, give him some highlights make him uh, stand out from the rest of the models painted up by 11 year olds in your local gaming area. So stay tuned, stick with it, and see you in the next video. Alrighty, alrighty, let's get started. We've got our Chaos Space Marine here that will be painted up as a Black Legion Space Marine. So obviously the first thing we wanna do after we've built our model is spray prime it. Of course I use Duplicolor matte gray spray primer that's what it looks like Ooh, what's that sandable primer in matte gray after we left that to dry for a little bit we come back with abaddon black because guess what that is the overriding color of this model something else you Oops, sorry about that. Something else you can do is just spray prime your model with black primer. That's an option. I try to stay away from that um, because I feel like black is just so dark, but that's you know certainly an option. I'm not saying that's wrong. Just for me, I, I prefer gray primer. But that will save you a minute or so from all of this business. Uh, getting in there and painting everything black. I went for the head with the tassel on it because if you look at Black Crusade, the Warhammer 40k role-playing game, the uh, cover of it is actually a Black Legion Space, Chaos Space Marine that looks exactly like this guy. He's got the red top knot, open face, no mask or no helmet on thing going. So I was like, that's the perfect 
model to represent a Black Legion Chaos Space Marine, so I am going to build it and paint it up as one. Woo! Project First Founding, trucking along. Alright, we're going to need to give this some time to dry. Uh, but while we are waiting for that to dry, what we can do is paint the top knot, at least, and the leather piece on it. So, oh wow, it looks super dark. Not just grim dark, I mean like dark. Can't see anything. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take Mornfang Brown and we're going to paint the little tie for his top knot. up here and then we're going to take some corn red and we're going to paint the top knot itself Black Legion, the original bad. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. First, make sure that I got all of this top knot painted. Always want to make sure you hit all the angles. All right, and we're gonna let this dry and come back once the black paint is uh, dried. Okay, at this point, we're gonna take some Ricard flesh and paint the skin. If you do not have a non-helmeted head, if your Chaos Space Marine has a helmet, of course, you would skip this step. Alright, sorry about that. The video clipped a little bit short. I don't know why it does that. Formatted my video card and everything. Anyways, just taking a look at where the skin is and keeping the brush on the tip. I'm just dragging it around, uh, down and along. You do not want to swamp the surface area with paint. Be very careful. I've always found top knots interesting, I guess. Remember the uh that one character from the Dragonlance novels, Tasselhoff. Tasselhoff Burfoot. Didn't he have a top knot? Most Kender are said to have top knots in the Dragonlance universe. I think the Black Legion are the only space marines to still have them. Out of any league. Okay, now we're gonna take some lead belcher and we're gonna start painting the armor. You know, what's interesting is that I always thought that the edging for the Black Legion was in gold, but the latest Chaos Space Marine Codex and Black Legion from Fantasy Flight Games show that uh, that's not true. Gold is st still used for the shoulder pads, but for much of the other edging, 
like here, we're using silver. I think that's cool because I don't know of any other Space Marine models that have a combination of silver and gold. Luckily we're still at that base coat phase, so if you get any of the paint in a different area, most likely the chances are that that armor piece is supposed to be black anyways, so you can just go back over it. Okay, if your guy's bolter is not slung across his chest, or you can see some detail there, you are also going to take some lead belcher and paint it across the front. And um, finally, the details on the backpack are also they are also in silver as well as gold. So we are going to pick those out right now. I'm also going to pick out the face mask, the grill. If I'm using a regular Space Marine helmet, the grill would also still be painted in silver. Uh, since we're not using a helmet though, I'm going to paint the whole thing. Right now, moving on to the gold. Using Balthazar gold. Mainly, we're going for the shoulder pads. If you look in the Chaos Codex, or Black Legion, or Black Crusade cover art, you'll notice that they've made the model so that the gold really only appears on the shoulder rim of the armor. Picked it on a few other places, like the skull here on the leg. This is the first Black Legion model I've ever painted, so I have my codex opened right next to me. You can also have your magazines or your, your white dwarf or whatever. Also sitting next to you, laptop maybe, and having that open is going to keep you on track and on task. Alright, so that's what we have so far. Next thing we're going to do is start painting the bolter. So I've got my lead belcher here. Yeah, so I didn't realize it, but Games Workshop now paints the entire Black Legion bolters in lead belcher.
Usually when I paint Volters, I like to leave the casing black and do details, but they don't even pick out the details in gold. It's just straight black all the way across. Huh, go figure. All right, we're gonna take the corn red now and paint any wiring. Red is our spot color, which means that in a predominantly flat color scheme, in this case black, you're gonna find places where we can paint red, like these little wires here on the chest, up here by the, the mouthpiece, like that. Uh, okay. And now, I think there's a couple more things we can paint silver, lead belcher, on the, on the, the mask piece. Just to differentiate that this guy's got a lot of bionics from his mask and they are implanted directly into his scalp. Fun. All right, so while that dries, I'm gonna go back over and paint in Abaddon Black any mistakes that I made. So this is why I don't really take the base coats too seriously because you're gonna make mistakes. Like let's zoom in on this one that I made right here. You see that right there in the shoulder, shoulder armor, or shoulder pad rather. Just take your Abaddon Black and Clean that up, push it towards towards the the center where the gold meets the black. Just push everything in and that way you take care of any mistakes. Okay. Next thing we're gonna try doing is we're going to take some Mephiston Red and we're going to paint the top knot Wait Mephiston Red, we're going to paint the top knot give it a little bit of a highlight Okay, the last thing I'm doing is taking Raiklin Flesh Shade. I loaded up my brush and then I dabbed it right here at the top by the top knot. And then as it goes toward, it gets dragged towards the bottom, then I kind of move it around with the tip of my brush. Same in the back here. You should get something that looks like that. You don't want too much of this flesh shade in the recesses. We're gonna make him a little bit sickly looking. But a little bit of that brown color is very nice. Okay, next we are going to take some Get him as gold. Actually, do I want to do get him as gold? Yeah, I've got my get him as gold right here. And you'll notice that I added a little bit of silver to the rest of his face mask. I decided not to go with black, just because there's so much black around for the underside of it. So he's got like a little robot breather mask, which I think is pretty cool. And we're gonna take our Gehenna's gold now, and we're going to just highlight the different areas. That we painted gold.
You don't have to do all of them. You can. We are just mainly really looking at the shoulder pads there. And uh, if you want, you can also do yeah, a little bit of the back is fine. Painting along the back side. Let's fix this up really quick. We're getting to the end now. So you can see why Black Legion is uh, one of the one of the armies that people, beginners, like to paint up the most, right? You've got a predominantly black Space Marine, Chaos Space Marine here with uh, some other colors that stick out, like the gold, and the reds, a little bit of the skin if you use this head without a mask, but very, very a simple and easy color scheme to replicate for a beginning painter. In fact, if you spray it with a black primer, it does most of the work for you before you even pick up a brush. So, last thing I want to talk about is highlighting. Highlighting the black. Paint that arrow on first. So when you're highlighting black, you have either two directions that you can go. Blue, to make a sort of a dark obsidian kind of black, or uh, gray. And in this case, we're gonna go with gray. So, the color we're gonna need is Dawnstone, which is a beautiful gray color. So in painting gray, we are going to make sure that we um, hit the armor plates on the hardest edges. We're also going to try not to uh, paint too much into uh, onto the armor plates, but just exactly where we need a little bit of light to go. So specifically, I'm looking at my codex right now, and it is showing that we should paint onto the shoulder pads. You don't have to go all the way around. pads here on this side. Basically wherever you think the hardest lines are. you get a little bit too uh, too sloppy with it, just take some Abaddon Black and clean it up by again pushing the highlights to the hard edge. Like that. With any mistake you make, just push the paint to the hard edge with the black. We are just about done. Um, one more thing I forgot to do is we're going to take Lead Belcher and we're going to paint it into the armor joints. Usually I like to paint my armor joints for my Space Marines and Chaos Space Marines either in black or, in this case, because we're using all black, I'm going to paint it silver. I think I did this with the Iron Hands as well. It looks like they did it in the Codex. So, it's going to work for me as well. Paint some Agrax Earthshade onto the 
bolter as well as the brown of the tie for the top knot. Why don't we also get his face mask in there? Okay, and oh yeah, his, his uh, tie for the top knot. and the top knot itself. Agrax Earthshade, beautiful color to shade red with, especially if you're doing an evil or dark character. You can also go with Caraberg Crimson, but I found Agrax Earthshade. I found that Agrax Earthshade really colors the red nicely. Okay. Next. I'm going to take some Warp Fiend Gray. And I'm going to water it down a lot. And just lightly shade, or highlight rather. I'm going to take some Abaddon Black again and dot his eyeballs. You want to make sure every time that your shade is dry And the last thing we're going to do is take some Rekhard Flesh and highlight his cheeks and his forehead. At this point your model should look something like this. And we're just going to let the wash dry. And then we'll come back in part two to pick it up and finish this guy off. So really, really simple, simple paint job. Uh, you could even just feel this guy like this as he is and should be fine, but we'll do a little bit of highlighting and um, make him look nice and pretty for the Black Crusade. So see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Latest play of